हेलो नमस्ते एंड कॉन्डिचिवा वेलकम टू संदीप्स क्लासेस आई एम कुमार संदीप एंड टुडे वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग द सॉलिड स्टेट दिस इज थर्ड लेक्चर एंड इन दिस वीडियो यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट डेंसिटी ऑफ द मटेरियल सम रिलेटेड न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स एंड प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम वेरियस बोर्ड्स ऑफ द नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया ओके विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स बिगिन In the last video, I have given you some paperwork to do. These are the solutions of those paperwork. The first question was: An element crystallizes in FCC lattice. Calculate the length of the side of the unit cell if the radius of the atom is 200 picometers. Since the crystal lattice is FCC, we know that the radius and edge length edge length relation will be 4r equal to a root 2. Simply a equal to 4r by root 2. Put the value of R, which is radius of the atom, and you will directly get the answer. This is simple. Okay. Next, the question is: This here you have to find the um, formula of the compound, similar to the question that you have done in the previous video. That is, ferric oxide crystallizes in HCP array of oxide ions, with two out of every three octahedral holes are occupied by the ferric ions. Okay. Now, the number of octahedral holes is equal to the number of atoms present. So, if the number of oxide ions present per unit cell is one, the oct octahedral holes will also be one. Okay. And two third of those holes are occupied by the ferric ions. So, the ratio will be two by three is to one. That is two is to three. And the formula of the compound is Fe two O three. Next, actually, those those students who have answered the these questions first were Pratap and Sahidul. So I want to say congratulations to them, and keep trying. And uh, and always be the first to answer the questions. Okay, before we begin, please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon. to get the notifications of the latest videos uploaded and do not forget to like and share with your friends okay today's topic is the density of the material so unit cell dimensions and density of the material the density of a substance can be calculated if the type of unit cell and its edge length is known the formula is rho density is given by rho this R H O, rho. So rho equal to Z M by N A into A cube. Here, A is equal to edge length of the unit cell. So A cube will be the volume of the unit cell. Remember, convert edge length A in centimeter before uh, starting your solution. And then put in a question, uh, equation. This equation, equation number one. Okay, the edge length will be given in picometer, sometimes in nanometers, and sometimes in other units. You first have to convert it into centimeter. Then you can put in this equation, and thereby execute the equation. So, what is the density here? Z equal to number of atoms in one unit cell. That is one for simple. Two for BCC and four for FCC. M is the molar mass, and N is the Avogadro number, which is six point zero two two into ten to the power twenty three. Okay. Let's head up to the into some numerical problems. You will get the PDF of all these handwritten notes. Notes. Uh, I will give you the link to download those notes. in the description below okay so no need to write now just follow the video question is copper crystallizes into a fcc lattice its edge length is 3.61 into 10 to the power minus 8 cm calculate the density of the copper atomic mass is given and whatever the number is given you know the formula is rho equal to z m by na into a cube what is given
that is given that is the number of atoms per unit cell since the that is FCC we can write that equal to 4 okay uh, edge length is given edge is a small a edge length is a small a which is given 3.61 into 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter since it is already given in centimeter we need not to convert here okay so this question is very simple molecular mass is also given 63.5 atomic unit and na you know very well just put the values and you will get the answer it is very simple okay this question has come in the Assam board 2012 so chances of repetitions are always there next question X-ray diffraction studies show that copper crystallizes in FCC lattice with edge length this and if the density of the copper is this calculate the atomic mass of the copper that means you have to calculate M value of M okay since so your solution is Z equal to 4 why Z equal to 4 because it is already said that it copper crystallizes in the FCC lattice okay edge length is given density is given and uh, the value of n we know already so the formula is rho equal to zm by na into aq and m equal to rho na into aq by z put the value and get the answer this is very simple okay next this question came in assam board 2013 okay so question is gold metal crystallized in a FCC lattice again it is FCC lattice that means you know that the z equal to 4 determine the density of the gold you have to calculate the raw value of raw atomic mass m is given atomic radius is given and Avogadro number remember here it is given atomic radius not the edge length you have to calculate the edge length okay so this question is little bit tricky but you can do it the value of z is given molecular mass is given and the radius is given just convert the radius into uh, from nanometer to centimeter okay what is the conversion unit uh, since you know one meter equal to 10 to the power 9 nanometer so one centimeter will be equal to 10 to the power 7 nanometer so one nanometer equal to 10 to the power minus 7 centimeter so just put the value and you will get 0 0.144 into 10 to the power minus 7 centimeter now you know the formula for FCC the edge length and radius relation is 4r equal to a root 2 you can calculate the value of edge length a from this formula okay so this is the value of edge length so in centimeter now again put the value in the formula okay solve it and you will get the answer this is the density of the copper okay next question aluminium metal crystallizes in a cubic structure in which edge of the unit cell is 405 picometers determine the type of the unit cell if the density is of aluminium is 2.7 gram per centimeter cube this question come in the Manipur board 2018 see uh, the uh, crystallizes in cubic structure in which the edge length is 405 picometer that means the value of a is given the value of raw is given what else given molecular mass molecular mass of aluminium you already know it is 27 u 27 atomic unit and the value of Avogadro number you also know it very well what you have to calculate you have to calculate uh, you have to uh, see what is written in the determine the type of the unit cell you have to calculate the type of the unit cell whether it is a simple unit cell body center unit cell or face center unit cell that you can know only when you know the number of atoms present there that is the value of z you have to calculate the value of z okay so simply put the formula calculate it for z and you will get the answer uh, most probably the answer will not come exactly 4 but will it will come 4.00 something x y ok 4.001234.00089 so overall the round off number is 4 since the round off number is 4 
so z equal to 4 then it is for fcc structure so let us is fcc okay next question density of lithium is this the edge length is this find the number of atom in a unit cell Avogadro number and molecular mass is given this question came in Manipur board 2019 okay see um, I will also be giving you the solved fully solved question papers uh, from various boards in this channel only I will give you the description a link of the description a link in the description okay I'll give you the link in the description for downloading those salt papers okay let's back to this question what is given here raw is given here density is given here the edge length is given 3.5 angstrom okay and you have to calculate here what you have to calculate find the number of atoms that is you have to calculate the value of z and other things are given and the value of Avogadro number is also given sometimes the value of Avogadro number is not given in the question but you need not to panic because uh, it's already known to you okay and if the simple type of atoms are given uh, most probably the molecular mass is also not given then you can easily suppose in the previous question you have seen that the molecular mass or atomic mass of aluminium was not given but you know it very well that it is 27 atomic mass unit so you can calculate okay here raw a m n egg is given you have to calculate the value of set see the um, answer came to be 1.97 so it is nearby 2 Round, uh, rounding off this number we will get 2 as the number of atoms will be 2 and this is in BCC structure body center cubic structure ok next question a unit cell of an element of an atomic mass one hundred eight and density 10.5 gram per centimeter cube having edge length 409 picometers find the structure of the crystal uh, if it in the question it is asked the find the structure of the crystal it is that means you have to calculate you have to find out the value of z then only you can uh, say what type of structure this crystal it is has this question already came in the Nagaland board two times 2016 and 2019 okay so what is given here? Just write it given. Molecular mass, density, value of A. Okay, value of A is given. Uh, it is 409 picometer. You have to convert into centimeter. You will get it 409 into 10 to the power minus 10 centimeter. The value of Na is known. Just put the value and find the answer. Here also, the value of Z comes out to be 4.006, which is approximately equal to 4. Hence, the structure is FCC. Next question. An element having a face-centered cubic unit cell has a molar mass 60 gram per mole and has a cell edge of 400 picometers. What is the density? You have to calculate here. Raw. Face center is a face center. Z equal to 4. Molar mass is given. 60 gram per mole and uh, a value of edge length is 400 picometers that is 400 into 10 to the power minus 10 centimeter you have to know the conversion very well from picometer to centimeter from nanometer to centimeter from angstrom to centimeter i have already given in you in the previous video so see that first then come to this video a regular number is also given so just put in the formula and write you can do one thing when you see here the the questions just pause the video read the questions very well and um, sit with a pen and paper and try to solve in your copy in, the, in your notebook it will be better for you if you solve those 
because uh, you are ultimately getting the PDF of this um, all those video slides but if you solve it multiple times it would be better for you so you can do do so okay the next question <coughs> aluminum crystallizes in FCC lattice and it has a density of this calculate edge length of the unit cell given atomic mass equal to this much okay so this is here you have to calculate the edge length here you have to calculate the edge length mm. so value of z is given because it is the fcc it will be 4 draw is given 2.7 into 10 to the power 3 kg per meter you have to convert into gram per centimeter you don't put this value directly into the formula you have to convert into the gram per centimeter cube so 2.7 to the power 3 kg will be if you have to convert in gram then it will be you will multiply it with 10 to the power 3 and 1 meter cube equal to 10 to the power 6 centimeter cube so ultimately you will get 2.7 gram per centimeter cube and just put the value Put the value and you have to calculate first you have to calculate a cube first okay and you get just find the cube root of this generally this type of questions rarely comes in the exam this type of question means you have, uh, in this question actually you have to calculate the value of a and from after calculating the value of a cube for calculating the value of a generally it is tough and time consuming process because the calculator is most of the times is not available in most of the board exams so you have to convert a cube to a you have to take the cube root of the of this value so generally this type of question doesn't come and if comes i suggest you to complete or do this solution of such type of questions at at the end of the paper don't waste much of the time in calculating these type of questions okay here also similar type of question you have to calculate the value of a after taking the cube root of a cube so you can do this pause the video see the question and try to find out the answer then just match with the following answer whether your answer matches or not okay next question this question came in the Meghalaya board 2019 here an element is a BCC structure that is the Z will be 2 you know very well the edge length is uh, 288 picometers that is 288 into 10 to the power minus 10 centimeter density is 7.2 gram per centimeter cube and value of Avogadro number you know so put the answer Put the take the take out the value of m by putting those values in the formula you'll get the answer okay 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 uh, i have not read the question completely here questions ask how many atoms are present in 208 gram of the element you have to find the number of atoms see if you calculate the value of m that is gram per mole the weight the weight of the substance if one mole of it is present the weight of one mole of the substance you have already calculated the weight of the one mole of the substance 21.79 u and to find out the number of moles you have to divide 208 this value by 51.79 okay you will get the number of moles suppose for example if you have given some amount of pen to you if someone has given a few pens to you and you know the weight of one pen okay suppose you know the weight of one pen is 10 gram what you will do you will uh, you have to find out the number of pens there what you will do <coughs> if you uh, if the total weight of the pen is known if the total weight of the pen is known suppose uh, total weight of the pen is 100 gram and you know the weight of the one pen it is 10 gram you'll just divide 100 by 10 and you'll get 10 isn't it 
so similarly here if you know the value of um, the total weight total mass is known and you have calculate the subs uh, one uh, weight of one mole of the substance then you can calculate the number of moles and when you calculate after you calculate the number of moles you will just multiply it with avogadro number okay then you'll get the final answer the total number of atoms so see number of moles n equal to w by m you have studied you have read this formula very well in your hs first year okay so the number of moles com comes out to be approximately four okay just multiply the number with the 6.02 to 10 to the power 23 atoms you'll get the final answer since you know one mole equal to 6.02 to 10 to the power 23 atoms so four moles will be equal to four into multiplied by the by this number okay so you get the answer with total atoms next question calculate the value of Avogadro number you know the value of Avogadro number but you have to calculate it here um, by using these data so the density of NaCl is given distance between any positive and Cl negative is given it is sodium and chloride ions is given in the NaCl crystal and it's 281 ppm and molar mass is given and this question is little bit tough that is not an easy you have to imagine the crystal remember NaCl is an FCC lattice remember NaCl that sodium chloride is FCC lattice so it's Z equal to 4 density and molar mass is given and one more thing one more thing is there the NaCl structure has FCC's lattice and all the chlorine atoms see the blue dots blue dots are the chlorine atoms they have taken place they have taken the corners and the face centers in a unit cell and the rest space is occupied by the sodium ions okay so what is given in the question mm? the distance between sodium positive and chloride negative is given okay and the distance between um, that is the distance between and cl negative and n a positive is given so you have to calculate the edge length here that means the edge length will be two times of the distance between sodium and chloride ions okay so the this uh, edge length will be 288 81 into 2 and 562 picometers so we have converted into the into centimeter and put all those data in this equation what you found here the value of average number to be 61089 into 10 to the power 23 which is very near to the actual value that means this solution is correct okay so the end of the video has come here are three paperwork that i have given you try to complete these as soon as possible and comment down in the comment box below let's see whose name come in the next video who are first who will be the first two persons who are going to complete this paperwork early let's see okay thank you so much for watching the video in the next video we will be covering um, some imperfections in crystals okay and few more important questions and previous year questions okay thank you so much and arigato gozaimashita